and taking off with a lion in the foreground. Is he going to walk back towards the carcass? I hope so. Or is he going to just flop down somewhere? Now, look at that on his back leg there. What is that? Is that mud? I think it is not mud. Do you know what that is, Dave? It is indeed. It is feces. Um, being a lion, he's not too concerned about lying in feces. I don't think it's his. I think he's probably laying in some buffalo feces. Smelly boy, but big, beautiful boy. Okay, he's heading back towards the carcass. And should I reverse a bit for you, Dav? Yep. So there are three males. The other one is fast asleep under the tree. And that male we saw earlier is still sitting next to the carcass. Now, will they have a little tussle uh, when he gets there, or is he just going to flop down in the long grass before he gets there? We're about to find out. Remember, hashtag Safari Live if you've got any questions for us. Doesn't seem to be walking directly to the carcass. Maybe there's a puddle of water or something. Oh, you lazy, lazy, lazy boy. Oh, you got a vulture taking off there, Dave. Um, he's just flopped down in the long grass. I had a feeling he might. There's a lovely white-backed vulture, and it's getting a bit late, so he's going to go sit in the tree, I think, next to a hooded vulture. Whoop, boom! Oh, that was a good landing. Oh, another white-backed vulture. And they'll wait for these lions to give them a gap uh, to go and feed on that carcass, but I think they're going to be waiting for a while. Now, uh, we had a question from Christian who wanted to know how far do lions walk uh, in a night or in a day? Well, it all depends. Uh, they are capable of walking up to about 30, 35 kilometers. Oh, next boy is up. But normally they don't walk more than sort of 5 to 10 k's. So that's the third of these big, beautiful boys. Now I think what's happened is now that it's got a bit cooler, they don't have to be in the shade of that shepherd's tree. And you can see there's a buffalo behind him. They're not too much interested in that buffalo, I would think, while he's got one already to munch upon. So we seem to have got you at the perfect time while these big boys are moving. And Jade is wondering how do they keep their mane so fluffy and flowing? Well, Jade, the only answer is they're born with it. I mean, <laughs> they will they will lick and groom their mane and they will lick and groom each other. But generally that is designed to be like that. It's protection um, for when they do fight to protect their throat and the back of their neck and other soft areas. So uh, that's why their manes are so big and beautiful. Oh, is he going? To, he's having a food snippets of grass to aid with his digestion. Now, you might hear me, oh no, he's down again. Floppity flop, flop, flop. Now, I think these boys are not going to do much more uh, at the moment. So, uh, I think we're going to probably maneuver on while there's almost no lines to see uh, because they are hiding in the long grass. And you can see there is, we're hoping that storm stays away from us, but there's a chance we might get a little damp, but we will keep you updated. At the moment, it's all looking grand. Take care, said it might, seems to be getting cloudy and the rain is coming. Well, there's some hooded vultures and some Thompson's gazelle. It is, we seem to be in a gap between all the rain at the moment. There's quite a lot of rain to the south of us, and it looks like there's rain to the west and to the north of us. Uh, but so far, we're sitting high and dry, and hopefully it'll stay that way till the end of the safari. Now, let's go see what other wonders the Mara has to offer for us as we wander around. And uh, while we do that, remember, you can always get hold of us by using the... 
Twitter, a hashtag Safari Live. And we would love to hear from you. Oh, there's some warthogs running in the distance, Dave. There we go. Hello, pigs. Bye-bye, pigs. Oh, vultures eating lion scat. They've just dropped out of the, the shepherd's tree. The, see, the hooded vultures will often eat lion scat um, because of their small beaks. They are unable to really compete with the bigger vultures at the carcass. So they will often, as soon as a lion has left a, an offering, pop down and tuck in. Look at that, all of the vultures fighting over that little bit of lion's cat. Now, we're going to keep moving on and see what else we can find. While we do that, let's go across to Taylor, who's got a bird who definitely would not eat lion's cat, but would love to dig around in some elephant's cat.